on the 9th of March 2021, a mysterious object was seen close to our sun. The photograph was captured by the SOHO spacecraft. As mentioned on NASA's website, the joint NASA ESA Serlin Heliospheric Observatory mission, SOHO was designed to study the sun inside and out, from its internal structure to the extensive outer atmosphere, to the solar wind that blows across the solar system. Launched in December 1995, SOHO was meant to operate until 1998, but it has been so successful that ESA and NASA have endorsed several mission extensions, and this is over the past two decades, allowing it to cover multiple solar cycles, 11 year periods of solar activity. End quote. NASA scientists have said that over the last two decades in space, SOHO has made some interesting new discoveries. However, it's not just scientists and researchers who have been looking through SOHO's data. Due to various anomalies, amateur researchers have used it as a tool to look through recent images, and there's some that think something is going on close to our sun. Various researchers have started to post this recent image online asking what it is. What's strange is that those who spend countless hours watching the sun have said this giant cube can be seen close to the sun every couple of weeks or so. This has only caused people to speculate about what this mysterious object could be, and investigate old images for themselves. Some have said that sometimes this giant cube can be seen inside the sun, while other photographs show it hovering beside it. Several UFO researchers have taken time to investigate what this thing is, and they've come to the conclusion that this large cube could possibly be a ship. So what is it that people are seeing? As of right now, UFO researchers have said they think these crafts are not from this world, and could even be monitoring our planet and watching human civilization. Interestingly, those who have studied these anomalies have said there's two different types. You have this type that looks kind of transparent and cloaked, than the other version that looks like a giant black cube. UFO researchers have said the large transparent cube has a kind of cloak on it, and this means it's harder to spot, whereas the black cubes aren't actually a cube, but were actually placed there in order to hide something behind it. Those who've used measuring tools have suggested these giant cubes are hundreds of miles in length. Sky watchers go on to say it's not just the sun where these giant objects are seen, but they also appear close to our moon as well. As mentioned, amateur researchers who have measured it have said it's massive, and some of them are even bigger than our planet. One website that looks into these accounts is that of ET Database, and they've suggested that in the past these giant crafts have been over 25 times the size of planet Earth. ET Database has even said that the large flares that can be seen were caused by a giant UFO exiting the sun. Other UFO researchers have pointed out that it's one of the best places to see unidentified flying objects. Interestingly, they say that different shaped crafts can be seen leaving our sun, and that some of them even stick around for several hours before making a quick getaway. But what do scientists make of these anomalies? Firstly, they've said that what people are seeing is definitely not an alien ship, and that sometimes space debris can take on different shapes that makes it look like something is not. NASA and other space agencies have said they've presented evidence to back this up, and notes that although they look impressive, when NASA scientists have looked into them they always turn out to have a mundane explanation. UFO believers don't buy into it though, and have theorised that these giant cubes have been visiting our sun for many years now. This in turn has caused various theories to be put forward for why they come here, with some believers saying they think they might be using it as some type of portal, or that the sun could be a type of fueling station. Further saying that if these objects weren't real, how come when they're close they seem to have an effect on it? Saying that in some cases you can see the sun mould around these objects, Due to these sorts of claims, NASA decided to provide an official explanation on their SOHO page. They said the following. Ever since launch, there's been a number of people who've claimed to have seen flying saucers and other objects in SOHO images. 
Although some of the supposed pictures of UFOs can seem quite intriguing, they've always turned out to have quite an ordinary course when examined by experienced SOHO scientists. Recently, we've been receiving so many questions and claims that we'd like to set the record straight. We've never seen anything that even suggests that UFOs are out there. Most commonly, UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches and debris. End quote. According to former NASA engineer James Oberg, he went on to say that these objects are just space dandruff floating in front of cameras. When they appear in front of cameras, they give off the effect that something much larger is there, when in reality, what people are seeing has a natural origin. He said the following about the discoveries. I've had enough experience with real spaceflight to realize that what's been seen in many videos is nothing beyond the norm, from fully mundane phenomena occurring in unearthly settings. End quote. So what do you make of this interesting image? Do you think it shows a cube? Do you think this is added in the image and that something is behind it? Or do you think these are processing errors? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.